Welcome to my review for John Wick 4. This was an amazing experience. We got more of what we asked for, amazing ridiculous action sequence in what we can consider a finale to the John Wick movie series. If you like the last three, this is a must watch. With each movie, they ramp up the levels of action as they should, and it does go to some crazy levels like straying more and more away from realism, and this movie is no exception. They went really crazy with all the sequence. I was vibing with it like I did with the previous one. Still, there were one or two moments in this movie where even I was kinda pulled out. I think your enjoyment is gonna rely on your expectation, like this will depend on each person, like how crazy is too far for you. The world building elements from 2 and 3 was great in my opinion, but in this, that part felt less interesting. Most of the non-action sequence felt weaker compared to the previous movies. The Berlin act, if you have seen it, you know, had a lot of scenes that could have been reduced for more action. Still, when the movie had action, they definitely delivered on every one of them. They went full throttle. This movie has some of my favorite action sequences in all of John Wick. The up-down camera sequence, that was so good. I was like, give me more of this. That was so well done. The team still proving that they still got more in them after three movies. We had everything, guns, blades, cars, bike, even a dog was given some kill, day, kill count. Another thing they did different and better is the settings, the settings where the fights takes place. All of it felt like it was chosen for a reason, the background had a bigger part for fights in this movie. Some of the time they involved movement in the background, I'm not gonna tell why. The movie does feel like a finale, well it was confirmed to be the last movie at least for a while. And the movie focused on resolving what Parabellum was not able to. And I think they did a good job in resolving everything. And the movie gives us an open ending, or at least I felt like it was. I understand why they went for this style of ending. With this, the story feels like it's the end, and the open ended nature leaves some base for creating a sequel if they want to. The old cast was great, as always, rest in peace, Lance. And the new characters were also good. Donian's character Kane was awesome. His character being blind and still doing some crazy shit. He was almost like a superhuman in this. Well, you need a superhuman to beat Baba Yaga. Most of his scenes were well done. Like you can see him reaching too far with his attacks or searching for the location of enemy while attacking. I will say there were some gun scenes where it felt a little bit too much but that's only just a few scenes. Overall, I give John Wick 4 an 8.5 out of 10, an amazing movie, highly recommend everyone to go see if you haven't already. This could be the last one so savor every moment when you do go watch it. That's all from me, hope you like this review, give a like and subscribe.